vision without action is a day dream action without vision is a nightmare here is a combination of vision and action good morning everyone i didn't say this yesterday a un officer from austria he visited our campus so he quoted this japanese proverb and he said i was actually thinking of describing vit in just two sentences or three sentences and this is the best i can come up with i mean getting an appreciation from an un officer is not that easy and we have done it last 25 years has been an incredible journey led by gv great visionary that's what at least professor ananta swami keeps saying naangal nadandu vanda paadai roja kalana paadigal kedaiyadu kallum mullum nirainda paadai it was not a smooth walk it was filled with stones and thorns it was filled with ups and downs i wanted to just share some of my memories it just feels like yesterday when i was a student here of course after being a student also in 90s i was serving as vice chairman so i was coming every day to college I just vividly remember my sweet old grandma came from the village and she saw me she asked me enga pora party college ku pora enda pa innuma college ku poitt iruke so you know i have grown with this institution in the 80s i was a student in the 90s i was a vice chairman and in the 2000s i'm a pro chancellor so i'm i'm growing with this institution you know we have had many good times and bad times you know talking about bad time i still remember when, when the institution started in 1984 i was doing my 11th standard in madras christian college school you know i remember vividly how uh, chairman used to prepare the report for application uh, to start this engineering college when he submitted to dr mg r you know those days were really tough days you know he he is a risk taker you know i i am not a risk taker i am a very conservative person but he is a risk taker he started this institution without a whole lot of money i still remember the days when he used to have difficulty in raising loan for 1 lakh to pay the salary it's an amazing time now the monthly salary has almost reached 4 crores we have paid a uh, sixth pay commission such is the tremendous growth we have experienced We're talking about some of the sweet times and as was mentioned earlier it came in 1988 you know the entire state of tamil nadu sat up and watched velour engineering college when the first batch of students sweep the medal tally of university of madras you know some of the gold medalists are here dr nadrajan you know mr devaraj upili and ramesh bharat all those great great you know rank holders who got eight out of the nine medals possible all for velour engineering college that's when the state started noticing us that's when everybody started noticing us and there was no turning back there's no turning back marching ahead even in bad times you know we had a crisis in 1990 there were lot of our you know dr ayya sami was the principal at that time you know we went through a lot of difficult times and lot of faculty members staff and students stayed with us now i just want to quickly remember at least 19 students who stayed with us till the end 1991 batch you know a few of them are here muttu swami dilip kumar danashekar suresh vindhya sailaja gopinath om prakash Om Prakash Pravin Kumar John Thomas Chitti Babu Ramu Ramu Sendil Velmani Saravanan Damodar Reddy Jagadishan Pratap Kumar and Ram Mohan please i think four of them are here can you please stand up these are students who stayed here 
against the government and wrote the exam in Vellore Engineering College. I admire you. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. You know, in 90s, we started the Alumni Association. What started off as a small sapling, small plant has grown into a tall and wide big tree today. You know, we have more than 16,000 alumni spread over all the countries of the world. I'm so proud. I mean, this year we are planning to start at least two international chapters, maybe one in London. There have been a lot of requests from London and one in Melbourne. You know, we'll keep growing along with our mother. BIT is the mother of Vita. Vita will grow as the mother is growing. In fact, Thai, Yetadi, Panja, Kutti, Padanaradi, Payan, Badi, Nan Tirvitu Kalavar Mirin. Of course, on the lighter vein, you know, I, I see you know, this word alumni. Everybody keeps saying alumni. The plural itself is alumni. And it's very English, it's very complicated. Alumni is the plural. Alumna is the male singular. Al alum, sorry, alumnus is the male singular. Alumna is the female uh, singular. And then alumne, God, it goes on and on. Maybe we should all just call ourselves alum as short form, which will represent everything instead of saying alumni and alumna, etc. You know, we started off with 180 students in 1984, and now we have 14,000 students since 2001, when the university, when the college became university, you know, we have had a very steep growth. You know, the, the, if you put a graph, you know, in the, in the 80s, it was like this, and then 90s, it started picking up like this, and then the 2000s, it's, it's like this, almost a 90 degree graph. It's amazing for all the efforts put by our uh, management team here. You know, it's, it's, it's a really a great growth. You know, for the past six months, we have been going through numerous accreditations right from NBA uh, and then the American accreditation. I'm not supposed to say this uh, because it's not yet official, the ABET accreditation. And then uh, last week we had this NAC accreditation. One thing I found common in all this accreditation is that the team comes in as a skeptic. The very first day, they are all skeptics. And then on the third day, they end up as fans. From skeptics, they become fans of VIT. That's the magic of VIT. You know, it's not just the structure and facilities, it's the people. It's the people who have impressed, uh, you know, our uh, visitors. And, you know, I, I'm, you know, with the comments you have received, I'm sure we are to get the topmost grade in the ABET accreditation. We are expecting it in May. When that comes, VIT will be the first institution in India outside US to get the American accreditation when, with that too with the topmost grade.